Come see the wonders of our God. How glorious are your ways. In Moses' hand you put your rod that cleaves the frightened seas. Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is Night Prayer for Sunday, July the 14th. It's the eighth Sunday after Pentecost, and it's week two in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 150, Romans chapter 10, verse 4 to 17, and a canticle from Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1 through 3, and 18 and 19. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth, let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, we praise you, God Most High, we praise you in your sanctuary. Alleluia, Psalm 150. Alleluia, we praise you, God Most High, we praise you in your sanctuary. We praise you in the firmament of your power, and we praise you for your mighty deeds. We praise you according to your excellent greatness, with the sound of the trumpet, with the psaltery and the harp, with the timbrel and the dance. We praise you with stringed instruments and organs, upon the loud cymbals, upon the high-sounding cymbals. Everything that has breath praises you. We praise you, O God, Most High. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. We praise you, God Most High. We praise you in your sanctuary. Alleluia. The lesson is from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 10, beginning at verse 4. For Christ is the end of the law, so that there may be righteousness for everyone who believes. Moses writes concerning the righteousness that comes from the law, that the person who does these things will live by them. But the righteousness that comes from faith says, Do not say in your heart, Who will ascend into heaven? that is, to bring Christ down, or who will descend into the abyss, that is, to bring Christ up. But what does it say? The word is near you, on your lips and in your heart. That is the word of faith that we proclaim. Because if you confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with the heart, and so is justified, and one confesses with the mouth, and so is saved. The scripture says no one who believes in him will be put to shame, for there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all, and generous to all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. But how are they to call on one in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in one of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone to proclaim him? And how are they to proclaim him unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. But not all have obeyed the good news. 
For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our message? So faith comes from what is heard, and what is heard comes through the word of Christ. But I ask, have they not heard? Indeed they have. For their voice has gone out to all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, arise and shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Most High shines on you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Most High shall rise on you, and God's glory shall be seen on you. And the Gentiles shall come to your light and rulers to the brightness of your rising. Violence shall no more be heard in your land, neither wasting nor destruction within your borders. But you shall call your walls salvation and your gates praise. The sun shall no more be your light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give its light. But God Most High shall be your everlasting light, and your God shall be your everlasting glory. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O oh, tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. Alleluia. And the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.